वेलकम टू मैथ्स एंड साइंस बाय एन चैनल इन दिस लेक्चर आई विल बी टेकिंग अप ए कंबाइंड नंबर थीरी प्रॉब्लम वेर लागर थम्स अलॉंग विथ डाइफाइंटाइन डाइफाइंटाइन इक्वेशन आर इनवाल्व दट मीन्स द डाइफाइंटाइन इक्वेशन इज ऑल्सो देर एंड लागर थम्स ऑल्सो आर इनवाल्व इन दिस एग्जाम्पल ई वॉन्ट टू सालव दिस सो दट यू विल बी गेटिंग कॉन्सेप्ट on logarithm and also diophantine equations to develop the concepts and to apply them in the examination so that you will better in the examination which your examination you are appearing whether it is international mathematics olympiad or maths olympiad or iit je e maths mains or iit je e maths advanced or csir mathematics any competitive examination if you have the good basics and concepts of logarithms and diophantine equations then you will be able to answer the questions correctly if you have the clear concepts on this subject on these topics if the questions are asked on the these topics i have taken a very good example please follow me how to solve the diophantine equations where logarithms are involved here we will be using number theory theorems and also we not only solve the equation for a plus a and b and we will find out a square plus b square and not only that we will check whether it has unique solution or many solutions or infinite solutions any equation if it is given we have to see unique solution or multiple solutions or infinite solutions until and unless we solve the given question we will not be able to conclude that it has a unique solution it has multiple solutions or it has infinite solutions only one equation is given two variables it doesn't mean that it always gives the infinite solutions there is a constraint stating that a and b are positive integers here bases are different for the logarithms logarithms do not have the same base the equation is 5 log a to the base 7 plus 11 log b to the base 13 the bases are also primes and the coefficients are also primes and they are coprime to each other gcd of the bases is 1 and gcd of the coefficients is also 1 let us try to solve it let's go further what is the question given here question is to solve to solve means not only to find the a and b as positive integers but also to find the behavior of them whether they give the, the equation gives the unique solution or multiple solutions or infinite solutions where the equation given is 5 log a to the base 7 plus 11 log b to the base 13 is equal to 21 now we'll 
solve the given equation. We will go for the solution. What is given? 5 log a to the base 7 plus 11 log b to the base 13 is equal to 21. We will use two major properties of logarithms log x to the base y is equal to ln x divided by ln y. This is one of the property. Another property is log x to the base y is equal to some z then x is equal to <coughs> y to the power of z. These are the two properties which we will be using extensively in this example. Now, let us say <coughs> log a to the power to the base 7 is equal to some x some x log b to the base 13 is equal to some y then what uh, what will be the given question it will be converted to the form 5 x plus 11 y is equal to 21 it's a linear diophantine equation it's a linear diophantine equation. X and Y are positive integers because log A to the base 7, if A is a positive integer, automatically x will be positive integer. If b is a positive integer, then y should be a positive integer. That is the log logic being used here and because a is equal to 7 to the power of x and b is equal to 13 to the power of y. Given condition is that a b to be positive integers. Hence, anything to the power of 7 will be positive integer when that power is positive integer. It implies x, y to be positive integers. Let us say because if, if x is 0 0.5, 0 0.3 or 0.2, a cannot be a positive integer, it will be something else it will be some decimal which is not accepted. One by seven, x cannot be negative value. Because if x is negative, then a will be in decimals. And b if y is negative, b will be in decimals. Hence to satisfy this equation, 5x plus 11 by e is equal to 21, x and y to also be positive integers. Now, we have simplified the equation 
in the form of a linear Diophantine equa Diophantin equation and we try to find out the solution for it and try to see that whether it is a unique solution, it has multiple solutions or it has infinite solutions. When we reduce the above equation to modulo 11, reduce 5x plus 11y is equal to 21 to modulo 11. What happens? Five x is equivalent to twenty one mod eleven. Do you agree? That implies two a equivalent minus one mod eleven. Or we can even say. 5, not 5a, it is 5x. Five 5x. Five or we can say 5x plus 11y is equal to 21. We will have a general integer solution. General integer solution will be from the congruences x is equal to 2 plus 11 t and y is equal to 1 minus 5 for some value of t. From these two equations that is x is equal to 2 plus 11 t and y is equal to 1 minus 5 t. For the further explanation for these two equations how we have got it kindly see my other videos previous videos about modular inverse and also general equations and you please treat it as a homework for you to get these equations. Now, from the above equations if t is equal to let us say t is greater than or equal to 1 what happens? x will be positive and y will be negative which is not acceptable because we wanted x and y to be positive integers not acceptable. Why we wanted x and y as positive integers I have already explained you in the lecture. When t is less than or equal to 1, what happens? x will be negative and y will be positive. This is also not acceptable because we wanted x and y to be both positive. Hence, from these two what we can conclude? t is equal to 0 is only solution for this problem that is unique solution. Then when t is equal to 0 what happens x is equal to 2 plus 11 t 2 plus 11 t that is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1 minus 5 t that is equal to 1. That means when x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1 that implies 
a is equal to 7 to the power of x that is equal to 7 square that is 49, b is equal to 13 to the power of y that is 13 to the power of 1 that is equal to 30. Therefore, a is equal to 49 and b is equal to 13 is the only unique solution for this problem. Then what is the value of a square plus b square that is equal to 49 square plus 13 square that is equal to 2570. This is the answer, this is the only unique solution for this problem. In this, we have discussed about modular inverse, we have formulated the general solution on the basis of modulo congruence and also we have got the logarithmic equations, how to convert them into the general equations and we have solved the linear Diophantine equation to get a unique solution. That means there are many concepts cleared in this problem. Please pay attention to this particular lecture and if required, please see it repeatedly and understand. If there is any problem in understanding it, please comment in the comments column and I will reply to your comments. With this, I want to conclude this lecture. Thank you for listening to my lecture. Thank you for viewing my lecture. And if there is a value addition because of this lecture to you, kindly share and subscribe to my channel Maths and Science by IITN. Thank you. Best of luck to you.